today the topic of discussion is normalization of data in normalization we'll understand first normal form so prior to this we have already seen the definition of normalization fine so what normalization is all about and today we'll understand first normal form what is first normal form so let's start with first normal form so first normal form it states that domain of an attribute that is value of a column i must say that domain of an attribute must include only atomic symbol indivisible values what it is means that see this example so this is a table uh, department name department number department manager or uh, you say the one who is heading the department and department location if i say about research so research number is 14 department number is 14 the manager of research is dr william but if i talk about location of research in a single domain in a single domain in a single column value you are having more than one value that is you have multi-valued attribute in a single column which is actually not supported by first normal form so it states that domain of an attribute must be only atomic it should have only one value it cannot have more than one value fine so uh, hence what we can say that first normal form disallow it does not allow having set of values it does not allow this type of things composite attribute that is it does not allow composite attribute and multi-valued attribute fine the only attribute value permitted by 1nf are single atomic in the, so which values are allowed single values atomic single atomic values are allowed these type of values are not allowed fine so now this is the definition this was the definition of first normal form that is the domain of an attribute must be atomic that is uh, the cell value cell value you can say cell value of a column must be a single value now what is the solution of this so if i want to convert this table this particular table this particular relational schema in one and what i'll have to do i have three options first option is that oh, i i should separately create a, a rows that is for research 14 dr william california and for research department 14 uh, one uh, one location is uh, new jersey and uh, for 14 that is for same research dr william is uh, the manager and new york is the location that is we have divided these three values in three different rows fine so this is one approach that is uh, row wise that is we have divided row wise fine we have separated individual values uh, for, uh, in a row fine okay now the second option we have to split a table to split a table means what you split department name department number and department manager in one table that is department name is research department number is 14 and department manager is dr william now you create a separate table having department number and department location so department number 14 have california department number 14 is in new york uh, new jersey and department number 14 is in new york fine so now you might be confused that how a three column can be same how three column can be same yes exactly it can be same because now both are acting as a key now both are acting since both are acting as a key key so what actually the condition is 14 california is different from 14 new jersey is different from 14 new york so in that way you can keep but suppose if this was not a key only this is a key so this is a wrong thing that is 14 cannot be repeated since now here we have two keys we have a key made of combination of department number and department location just because of that we can put uh, values like this fine so these are two different method for for a table uh, which is not in first normal form to make it in a first normal form so at last i'll say thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share the channel thank you thank you so much thank you very much